All right, running back pickups. Who are your favorite running backs this week on the waiver wire? So Some interesting names. Uh, to me, Raheem Mostart is the, the number one pickup. He is a guy that I'm very confident to put in my lineup. And that's what I'm looking for a running back. You know, not like, oh, I want to roster this guy. Maybe in three or four weeks he's going to be good. The the San Francisco running game just clicks. Shanahan's system works. And he's I got have, some pep, man. He's he got looks some slip, great. He's got some slippery pep. He can just sneak between these guys and he's, you know, top speed. He looked great. Yeah, he really did. I mean, he, he was electric on the field and, you know, the, you know he's a must start. I think Raheem must start <laughs> at least for a week. Yep. Last week, uh, snap count Raheem with 34, Brita 21, and then Jeff Wilson with 15. My name is Jeff. So uh, you might not be able to count on, you know, the touchdown distribution from one guy to the next, but the snaps kind of matter. Yeah. Speaking of snaps, a player who is likely to see a lot of snaps yet again because he is infinite, he is all. He is Frank Gore. The The update for Devin Singletary's hamstring is he is considered day-to-day. -day. Uh, head coach Sean McDermott said they still don't know definitively at this point. I, if I have to take the guess right now in the waiver wire, I while that's running, I, I think that Singletary will miss at least a week as the way that he pulled up from that hamstring. And Frank Gore, it's inefficient. But he's going to see volume. He can. He'll get the goal line work, and they get to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, Buffalo. Buffalo is a solid team, and they're going to be able to compete uh, against the Bengals, especially offensively. So I'm, I'm very interested in Frank Gore if you need a spot start. Well, in in hearkening back ten years, he's been waiting a long time for me to say this. But Frank Gore, great. Frank Gore's been waiting. Frank, for yeah, he's you been waiting for something. me to say this. Frank Gore, greater sign. Adrian Peterson this week. Oh. Adrian, Adrian Peterson takes on the Bears on Monday Night Football. <sighs> hugely, oh, no, thank hugely you. Hugely inefficient no, in week you. one. Saved his week with a touchdown. Frank Gore had 19 carries. Peterson only had 10 last week, and Gore is uh, a much better start this week. Yes. Jalen Samuels. Now, it, it's a tough call for budget, for your fab dollars, yeah. for your waiver wire spot. If if we knew that you know James Conner was going to miss a week or two, I'd say, hey. You know, he would be the number one. Yeah, just, you know. Use your budget and pick him up. But now Connor should be out there. Jalen Samuel steps into an offense now, you know, run by Mason Rudolph. I just don't have enough confidence for me to. Now, if you're the Connor owner and you know that he's dealing with an issue, you need to go out and pick up Jalen Samuels. Yeah, yeah, you have to. They when Connor left the game, I I, I believe uh, twenty like twenty two out of twenty three snaps went to Jalen Samuels. Like the the. The one running back system will will continue for Mike for Mike Tomlin, and it will be Jalen Samuels, who is a great pass catcher. So yes, he you can't spend a lot on him right now, not not even knowing if he'll play. Because if James Conner is healthy, he'll still see the bulk of the carries. Maybe Samuels works in a bit more, but Samuels should still be try and get like a low bid on him, bid in on him so you can stash him. All right, what about Carlos Hyde? 20 for 90 last week. Takes on the Chargers this week. Also worth bringing up, Chris Thompson may hit the waiver wire in some leagues. Probably not, but 5 for 48 through the air. Didn't get any carries, really, in week two. The snap count, though, Chris Thompson's way. What do you think about those two guys? I would go Carlos Hyde. I, I actually think Carlos Hyde's looked good. He has. He's getting the work. 20 carries, and now this is a matchup where, you know, the Los Angeles – Chargers are difficult to beat through the air right. and susceptible to beat on the ground. That's the the recipe for Carlos Hyde. So he's a very Frank Gore-style player to me. I'd rather have Gore than Hyde right now, but I'm fine with either. If you're dealing with injuries and you need a running back, you can you could start either. Uh, Darwin Thompson, are yes. you willing to pick him up and stash him? Yes. I'm picking him up. You it's similar to Samuels, you just, you don't have the information right now. Shady McCoy might play. I haven't seen an update yet on Damian Williams if he is good to go. The last thing I had heard out of Kansas City was they don't think that it's any kind of serious injury, so that that you're in a complete holding pattern there. But so, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, so if if <laughs> I love Michael Keaton, if if Shady's out, then Darwin will get on. He'll get some snaps. Would you drop Malcolm Brown or Justin Jackson for any of these names that we mentioned? 
yeah i i i mean i think that it depends on what you're looking for right if you need a start a lot of the names we mentioned are better starts i would start mostert gore In. over those guys so if you need a start and you have to make that transition do it um if you uh, you know otherwise what if you I, need I don't, a start <clears throat> a start um I don't think that either of those guys should be dropped on their own. Certainly not. I wouldn't just drop Malcolm Brown or Justin Jackson. They, they should be rostered sure. in general. Now, uh, if, if you're listening at home and you have like some food around you, stop chewing, put it down. If you have a Dramamine, maybe you want to take that. I don't know the name you're going to say, but I'm already disgusted. Is I just figured you were already on it, whatever, whatever <laughs> drug he says. No, it's, it's Peyton Barber. Hmm. Do you pick him up? Because like I dropped him last week based off of what was happening with the snaps in week one. I looked the fool because Peyton Barber went out, got 23 carries, got the touchdown. The matchup is nice. The this matchup week. is good against the Giants. Like he's in our two flex league of record. He's in my lineup over Adrian Peterson. So week. then you would pick him up. Yes. I think he's just in that category of spot start. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to count on one running back in Tampa Bay through the year, but unfortunately they need to be rostered by fantasy owners. Yeah, I think you can pick up Peyton, and I think you can play him this week. It is it's definitely a tough pill to swallow, but it's it's what appears to be the truth. Oh, what a day. Oh, hey, thanks for watching that highlight clip. If you want to see the whole video, you can click down there. If you want to subscribe, you can click over there. That's about all I have for you.